In September 1724, one of the strangest executions in history took place. A large crowd had gathered in Edinburgh's Market Square to watch the execution of a woman who had murdered her own infant. After she was executed by hanging, there was a small riot because the condemned woman's relatives and friends did not want to leave the body to the medical students who wanted to dissect it. In the end, she was transported in a coffin by the family to Musselburgh. But during this journey, a very unusual event occurred. Margaret Dixon was born in 1702 and married a fisherman there, but he left home for a long time for professional reasons. She then began working in an inn in Kelso, a nearby village. There she soon began an intimate relationship with William Bell, the owner's son, and after some time she was expecting his child. But Maggie Dixon hid her pregnancy, and with a bit of luck she was able to hide her belly until the birth. The baby is also said to have been born a few weeks prematurely. It is not clear whether the baby was stillborn or died immediately after birth, as Maggie Dixon left her newborn on the banks of the River Tweed and disappeared. On the same day, the baby's body was discovered, and all fingers pointed in the direction of the inn, where the woman named Margaret Dixon, unknown in the village and recently estranged from her husband, was staying. After her arrest, she was charged with the murder of her own child and sentenced to death by hanging. On September 2, 1724, she was hanged in Edinburgh's grass market. But as the family transported her body home, knocks and moans were heard from the coffin. The startled attendants opened the lid and discovered a fully alive Maggie Dixon. She was even able to march the rest of the way to Musselburgh on foot. It is claimed that Maggie Dixon knew the rope maker who supplied the hangman well, and that the early breaking of the rope enabled her to survive. As the court sentence had been carried out and the punishment had been properly carried out, the court ruled that Maggie Dixon had paid for her alleged crime and was allowed to live without further punishment. Another story claims that she was blessed by God and that the failure of the execution was divine intervention. From then on, she was called the half-hanged Maggie and lived on until her death in 1765. However true this story may be, you can still read her infamous story and name in many places in Grass Market in Edinburgh for centuries. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.